We've come together this afternoon to join in holy matrimony with this man, Alex Merritt, and this woman, Andrea Humphrey. It is he, Jesus, who ordained the marriage of loyal hearts as he spoke the words to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And Jesus honored its celebration by his presence at the wedding of Canaan and Galilee. And he chose its beautiful relationship as a figure of that devout union between himself and his church. He tells the husband to love his wife and the wife to be faithful to her husband, even as the church is devoted to Christ and everything. When God gave that first bride, as radiant as a sunbeam, as pure as light to a husband, as sinless as she, their union was more than a contract, more than a tie, more even than one's aim, ambition, and love. It was a unity which was beyond human understanding in which no mortal could separate. And thus did God the Creator lay the foundations of society and bind with bonds of love the richest blessings of life. And it is for this reason that He has blessed the man and the wife. And if they have their cares, they'll have their joys as well. And the Lord give them grace for both. Andrea, give me some scriptures which we're going to go over later today. But it had a lot to do with love. And you think about a wedding and you think about love. But I want you two to listen very close to these words I want to tell you right now. I want to tell you that love is not a feeling. And love is not an emotion that you will experience. Love is a choice. And I want to encourage you guys each day to wake up and choose to love each other. There'll be mornings that'll be tough. There'll be nights that'll be tough. But I promise you, if you choose to love one another, the blessings will be unmeasurable. This is a very meaningful hour for you two, for the gentle spirit of Christ has taught us how to love. And where love abides, there heaven is found in the joys that cannot fade. Alex, in taking the woman you hold by the hand to be your lawful wedded wife, I require that you promise to love and cherish her, to honor and sustain her, in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days, in the good that may light your ways, and to be true to her in all things. Do you so promise? I do. Andrea, in taking the man you hold by the hand to be your lawful wedded husband, I require that you promise to love and cherish him, honor and sustain him, in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth in the bad that may darken your days, and the good that will light your ways, and to be true to Him in all things. Do you so promise? I do. I, Alex, take thee, Andrea. I, Alex, take thee, Andrea. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To honor and sustain. To honor and to sustain. I, Andrea, take thee, Alex. I, Andrea, take thee, Alex. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. Sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To honor and sustain. Honor and sustain. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. It is such an honor to be here and a part of your special day. I've had the privilege of watching them grow into the beautiful couple they are today, and I cannot wait to see where God's gonna take them next. Cheers. I just wanna start off by saying thank you so much to both the Merith and the Humphrey families. Um, this was a gorgeous event, and I guess I can't thank you guys enough for putting it on, so if everyone please raise your glass, give them a round of applause, thank you so much. 
So, this leads us to the lovely story of the Demons 2. We get done with our 12 and 14 hour work days. <laughs> So he would go in the bedroom every single night, and I bet spend three hours every night talking to this gorgeous young lady. I'm so happy you two found each other, and can't wait to see the next chapter of your guys' life unfold. Having pledged your faith in and love to each other, and having sealed your solemn marital vows by giving, receiving the rings, acting in the authority vested in me by the laws of this state, and looking to heaven for divine sanction, I pronounce you husbands and wife in the presence of these assembled. Let all men take care of the sight of God that this holy covenant shall ever remain sacred. Alex, you may kiss your bride. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Merrith. Yeah. Yep. <laughs>